Hey campers! So today we are going to be doing a very fun painting project and that painting project is going to be splatter paint. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love splatter paint. Um, so for this project, you will need either a canvas or some good like watercolor or um, art paper. Um, just something that'll be sturdy. I have a canvas right now, so I think that would be best. Um, you can get some acrylic paints and um, make sure you have a paint, some paint brushes as well. Preferably, you should have some big paint brushes um, because it'll make it easier and more fun to splatter paint your piece. Okay, so um, grab those acrylic colors, grab your canvas or your um, watercolor paper or painting paper, whatever it might be. Um, you can also do this with cardboard. That would be pretty too. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so here I have my canvas and um, I have some of my acrylic paints here that I got from Target, but you can easily get all this stuff off of Amazon or your local Target. Um, and then I actually forgot to mention this, but I have some water here. Um, I think we're gonna dip the brushes in a little bit of water to make um, the splatter paint a little bit easier. So I'm going to open up my paints here. You can choose whatever colors you want to do. I think I'm going to start with pink. And I'm going to take a small brush and swirl it around in the paint just to kind of mix it all together. Um, okay. Then after I do that, I'm going to take a bigger brush. I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to dip it in my water and then get a little bit of my um, acrylic paint on here. And I'm going to kind of just smear it in this cap right here. If you have another flat surface that you can do this on, um, that would be good as well. I might get my flat surface out in a bit, but I just want to show you guys. So I'm just going to keep adding water until it's at a pretty watery consistency, kind of like a watercolor paint. Um, and your hands will get a little dirty when you do this. So if you don't want your hands to get dirty, just um, put some gloves on. Okay, so I kind of want it to be thick, but not too thick. So kind of watercolory, but a little bit thicker. So kind of like, so your consistency should be watery, but not too watery. Okay, so now we're gonna start splatter painting. So what I like to do, there's a few different techniques you can do. I like to do this technique where you take the brush and you kind of just ripple it through your fingers like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that on your canvas. I don't know if that's really showing up, but you can kind of see it. Oops, my hands just got off. You can kind of see it. <laughs> um, here's another method you can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up some more color and I'm just going to whack my brush like this. That works so much better. I'm going to whack my brush like this all across the canvas. You can whack it hard. Just go like, whoo, like this. Put your wrist into it. Kind of like you're playing the drums. There we go. I'm just gonna put some more pink at the bottom, and then you can. And then once it stops splattering, you can pick it up and bring it to the bottom here. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. So that was my first color. I'm gonna do a bunch of different colors so that look super duper cool when we're done. So I'm so pink is my base, and now I'm gonna go pick a new color. So um, why don't you guys pick another color as well? And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So now I've picked successfully picked another color, and I think I'm gonna do this really pretty golden yellow. 
So again, I'm just going in and putting some water onto my brush and just mixing that all around. Oh, it has been so hot lately where I live. What about you guys? You should tell me what you're doing to stay super duper cool in this intense heat. Okay, so again, it's not, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty watery, but it's not too watery. And I think I'm going to use the flipping method. Okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Remember, like you're playing the drums, and it's all in the flick of the wrist. Can't wait to see how your guys' splatter paint projects turn out. I love splatter paint. I think there's so many different things that you can come up with um, when you look at a splatter paint painting. Like, this could easily look like, you know, a sunset. You know, these are the colors of a sunset. It's super pretty. Okay, I think I'm done with the yellow. Um, so I'm just going to dip my brush and clean it. And I think I'm going to do a few more colors. So I'm thinking that maybe I should use um, let's do, do, let's do this blush color that I have here. I have this really pretty blush color that I'm going to use. And I'm going to repeat the same thing that I just did. Now, you guys can use whatever colors you want. Use your imagination. You can use a bunch of blues to make it look like you're staring into a waterfall. Or you can do rainbow colors because you love the rainbow. Sometimes you need to add a little more water to get the color. go on properly. Okay, so I've got that little peach color on there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's looking actually really pretty. I like that. Um, and then I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Um, so I'm just going to pick, I'm going to do, mm, do like a light blue, kind of like that. Just kind of make it look, kind of go with my sunset theme, kind of make it look like it's in the sky. Okay, so again, I'm repeating the same steps that I did before. And I'm just going to take the canvas and bring it up here a little bit so I can get a little bit closer. Sometimes it's good to bring the canvas closer. Let me get a different effect. Okay, so that's how it's looking so far. Ooh, I really like that. I think that's super duper cool. What about you guys? I think I'm going to name my artwork sunset. Let me get a little more water on my brush because you can do this with watercolors too but I would prefer to do them with acrylics because I think that the acrylic paints are a little more pigmented which means that they're, um, they give off a super vibrant color so, and they're super pretty and they're really easy to work with. And this does get very messy, so it's very easy to wash off as well. Okay, all right. So that's what I have so far. And you can add as many colors as you want. Um, but I think, I think I might go for one more. I think I'm going to do very, very light purple, almost like a lavender. 
What do you guys think? Now I'm really going for the colors here. Oh no, it's mixed in with my blues. Let's see. No, that's too blue. That's okay. Oh, I think I'm going to do a dark purple. I think that's kind of nice. What do you guys think? Dark purple? Let's go. Oh, yep. It's all clean. Sometimes my colors get mixed in with the others and I don't even realize that. So I'm just gonna wet my brush, get wet, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to go around the edges a little bit. Okay, and I think I'm done. So, yeah, um, you guys can go ahead and finalize your pieces and um, you can finalize your beautiful masterpieces and um, I'll be back in a second. Um, to, I'm going to do some touch-ups as well, and so I'm going to see you in a bit. Okay, you guys. Oh, look, there's my talk. <laughs> um, so that is the end of our um, splatter paint video together. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. It's a super fun and relaxing way to enjoy the last few weeks of summer um, that we have, or the, yeah, the last few weeks of summer. Wow, that went by so fast. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Remember, you can do any colors that you want. Um, you know, finalize it, make it your own, put glitter, sparkles on it. Um, do whatever you please with it because art is all about using your imagination and your amazing creativity to create something beautiful. So yeah, okay, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!